So how much would you pay to avoid I-4 traffic? Paul Brinkman has the answer potentially with a new service called Chopper. And let's talk about this. It's very, very interesting. It is. Um, <laughs> so a guy who has been involved in aircraft chartering, helicopter chartering, um, for various different companies in the past, applied for a new license for a completely new company to transport people instead of, uh, well, I mean, to transport people on a regular basis uh, as a charter helicopter company. But it's not just a charter helicopter service. It's a point-to-point -point, um, on-demand service. So it's a little bit like an Uber for helicopters. Mm -hmm. That was how he originally described it to me. It's not quite there yet in terms of being Uber for helicopters, but there is a website you can go on and look at the different routes that are available. So if you're in Kissimmee and you need to get to downtown Orlando quickly, mm -hmm. there, you know, you could go to probably the Kissimmee uh, airport down there and, and get one of their helicopters. They would charge you a fee for it and, and you could fly to downtown Orlando. What are these fees? How high are they? In the thousands, hundreds, tens? Yeah, it can be around a thousand dollars, but they're 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 still working that out, and it's different for each flight. So I can't really give you like ranges. Per, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is aimed at like company executives uh, that whose mm -hmm. time is really valuable and sure. um, who might be flying into a smaller airport or something like that in the area to avoid. Orlando International and then uh, you know f take a helicopter in or just somebody who lives out in you know one of the r more remote areas like Windermere or something that needs to get around quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay but it's not Uber in the sense of anyone with the helicopter can now give you a ride. It's a company that has their own fleet of helicopters, correct? Well, they're actually working with helicopter owners in the area. So oh, it is kind of like okay. that. Hmm. But I mean, but most helicopter owners, it's not like, it's not like Uber where you can just like, where if you have a car, you can do this. You know, most mm -hmm. people don't have a helicopter in their backyard. So, <laughs> but, um, but there are a lot more helicopters uh, doing tours and things like that in Central Florida these days. Sure. So this guy is trying to kind of tap into those owners and mm -hmm. and he has agreements with other with helicopter owners out there um, to provide this service on demand. Um, so I don't know. It's a it's a brand new startup. Okay. The guy they previously ran a company called Bacon Chopper. I was going to ask you about was, that. <laughs> I'm sure you were. Yeah. Um, they uh, so they would hire helicopters to go out into rural areas that were having a problem with wild hogs because. Mm -hmm. Wild hogs are actually a problem in in Central Florida and a lot of places. They dig up, they dig up the ground. They they cause a they they make a big mess basically. And it, when their population gets too large, they got to go in and shoot them. So they would hire these helicopters, um, completely separate separate company again. They would hire these helicopters to go out and shoot the hogs. Mm -hmm. Now this the guy that's founding this um, chopper service, this new chopper service is he was also involved in that company and that's kind of how he got his connections with helicopters. Okay. But it's a completely, they had to get a new FAA permit and everything to transport people uh, in this on-demand so service, totally obviously. Different. Yeah. Okay. Inter very interesting though. I've <laughs> yeah. never heard of a service like that either. So do you think, uh, you know, businesses are going to start putting helipads near their businesses so that maybe this service will come to them? We actually have seen a lot more helipads uh, being built, especially along the iDrive area. Um, most of them are for tourists um, who want to go up and see Orlando and mm -hmm. Disney World and Universal. Uh, you can take, you know, you can pay a hundred dollars or so to go up for a, a brief period of time. Um, we've seen like, there's been probably like almost a dozen of those over the last uh, five years or mm. so that have been added and there's a few more on the plans uh, on the books now for more so Interesting. Uh, yeah so that's become more popular cool <laughs> so can I order one today or is it still being built up there is they are live now for Orlando they were in South Florida first and they now they're live for Orlando so there are um, there are tour uh, fairs available on there now for Orlando okay. yeah I'm about to go get lunch so I <laughs> might want to go to Kissimmee and you know I don't yeah, want right. to drive <laughs> that far so well thank you Ch okay, check sure. it out choppers that that new service